Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In our last video, we put together these little card sections with a the modal pop-up here. I'm now going to add another section. I'm going to add a parallax section or a mock parallax section, which is going to have a fixed background image and a bit of text in the front. Always looks kind of eye-catching. So let's get started. Here's our Bootstrap 4 site that we've been working on. Here's our index.html file that we'll be working on today and inside our CSS folder here is our custom CSS file that we'll also be working on. So let's open these with brackets. This is our text editor brackets. It's free, it's downloadable via a link just below this video if you don't have a text editor. So I've got my index.html open and I've got my custom CSS file open here. So let's create a new section. And I'm gonna give it the ID of PLX, which will be short for parallax, parallax. And inside this section, we want to create a little container. So let's create a div with a class of container. All right, and inside this is where we're going to actually put our little p piece of text, sort of a headline, if you will. It's not quite a jumbotron, but it's a headline uh, that I'm going to have text centered that's going to have an image behind it. So let's create another div and let's give it the class of. Let's call it, I guess we'll call it title. Let's call it W title, wine title. I may have used that class before. don't want to use the same one again. And I'm going to put text in there. I want the text to be centered. So I'm going to give it the class of text center. Close it out. And inside here, is where I'm going to put my text. I'm going to use H2 text, heading 2. As I'm sure you know, if you've been following any of these videos at all, heading classes start from 1 and go to 6, 1 being the largest, 6 being the smallest. But of course, you can give your container a class and you can make that, that uh, text any size you want with a bit of CSS. So I've got some pre written text I'm just going to put in there. Uh, we have one of the best wine selections on the planet and I've put the break in there which is an open pointy bracket BR and that'll make this next line appear on the next line it's like hitting the return key on your keyboard when you're typing text so what we've got there we've got a section called PLX we've got a container inside that container we've got a little div called W title centered text and we've got this text here so it's not going to look like much but we can go to our site and take a look and it really isn't going to look like much let's move this one out of the way and refresh it should sit down the bottom here there it is that all that's all we're going to see at the moment because we've not done anything with it what i want to do is i want to put an image background behind it and i want that image to stay still when we scroll up and down I want this text to be white and bold. So I've already prepared an image. Um, you can use any image you want. It wants to be a reasonable size if you're going to be using it for this parallax thing. So it's got a bit of height on it to scroll up and down. And 
my image I've just done 1920 by 1200. So let's go to our custom CSS and put this image behind that text there. So I'm going to open the custom CSS file. And I'm going to start a new little section. I'm going to call it uh, parallax section. I'll give it a little title so we can find it at a later date easier. Forward slash star star forward slash. And let's call it parallax. Okay, and our section was called PLX, so it's hashtag because it's an ID. And that section, let's open and close some curly brackets there. We want to give it a background image, so background. Let's spell that right. It won't work if you don't. And I want it to be an image, gosh. Spelled it wrong again. <laughs> there we go. And I want it to be an image. So I've got to put the URL of the image, and that's basically pointing it to the folder that I've got my images in, which is right here. So there's our site. I've got to go backwards to the image folder, and it's in our image folder there. And my image is called wine. So let's give it a URL. Open and close some round brackets, and we've got to do a dot dot forward slash to tell it to go back, and there it's found our image folder there. And my image was actually called wine. There it is, right there. There it is. Okay, and I want that image to be, I don't want it to move, so I've got to tell it that. So it's a background attachment. If I can spell it right this time. Look, it's prompted us, that's handy, saves me a bit of typing. Background attachment. I don't want to tell that to be fixed, I don't want it to move. And I want it to be centered. So it will be background position. Again, it's prompted us, which is handy. And I want that to be in the center. And I don't want it to repeat. So that'll be background repeat. Because it's, it's just one picture. We don't want it to... Uh, repeat so I write no repeat if you had a small picture that you know or a, or a gradient or something that you wanted to cover the whole thing and it was the same thing you can always repeat it horizontally or vertically that's real useful if you've got like a me a picture of mesh or something like that because you can just use one little picture and, and get it to repeat and that saves a large image you know you can use a tiny little image instead and background size we want it to cover the complete section there so we want to say background size cover All right, that should do that for our little section right there. Save that, hit Control S. What else do we want to do? So there's our section PLX that we put the image behind. Now our container here, our W title. Let's give it uh, a bit of padding at the top and the bottom. And we want to make that text sort of, we want it white for a start so it stands out. And let's make it bold. So we'll use this W title class we've got here. Let's go to our custom CSS. And 
because it's a class not an ID what I mean by that is I'm sure you know by now sections got an ID you can only use IDs once they want to be unique so that's an ID parallax in custom CSS we have to use a hashtag in front of the IDs and for classes see it's got class W title we just need to use a period and you can use these classes over and over again it'll apply the same CSS to the different classes there so it's period or full stop however you like to say it W title and open and close some curly brackets now what do we want it to do I just want to give it some padding top and bottom so let's give it some padding and I'm going to use two attributes first one's going to be for top and bottom so I'll give it oh, I don't know, 150 picks so I can always change that at a later date and um, if I left it like that it'd be 150 top bottom left and right if you're using two attributes I'll put in another one just 20 pixels first one's top and bottom second one is left and right you can use four and you'd have top right bottom left uh, just like a compass okay, that should do for that we can take a look at that now given it a bit of padding we should have some size on that let's just save that make sure we're saved everywhere yep let's go back to our site now there should be an image behind here and we should have a bit more height on it as well let's look there we go scroll down now, as you can see that image is staying still you can't see it too well because there's nothing below it but when I'm scrolling the image behind is actually not moving which is the effect I was wanting that's not true parallax it's a sort of fake parallax but it's very eye-catching I like to use it and it's easy to implement but of course we can't read our text here so I want to make this bigger and I want to make it white or light in color and I want to make it bold so it stands out a bit better so let's do that let's go back to our CSS so here we are there's our title now I want to target that h2 because that was our h2 there what I'm going to do, I'm not going to give it a color here. I'm actually in the CSS. I'm going to give it another attribute here, which will make it white. If we go here and just add text light, that should turn our text to a white color. Let's have a look. See, let's save that back to the site and refresh. And this text should turn white because of that new attribute attribute we put in there. There we go that's what I wanted now all I all I need to do is target that and make it bigger and bolder I mean that's okay but I just want to want to have it a little bolder so let's go back let's go back to our CSS so I've got to target uh, W title h2 so let's give it another space and W title and it's the H2 we want to affect. Let's open and close some curlies and let's give it a font size. Let's try 36 picks. I think that's pretty common from when I'm doing this sort of thing. 36 pixels. And I want it to be bold, so we'll say font weight. We could put in something like 700 or 600 um, that would do the same thing but we can just say bold as you see it's actually prompted me here you've got 100 200 300 etc up and up we're just going to put in bold that's fine right let's save that and take a look see what we've got now this should be bigger and bolder should stand out a little bit more there we go that was what I was looking for okay um, 
that's achieved that effect can't really see it that well without something below it it looks it's going to look a lot better with something below it if it scrolls up um, so let's just go quickly add a section below it um, below that I'm going to do a wine list so I'll quickly just add a blue section so you can see see this more effectively let's go back to our custom CSS and let's add another section quickly below this I'll just copy this and drop down and I'll call this wines so I'm going to use a table in this in a moment to create a wine list and I'll just get rid of that so we've got a section with the idea of wines so let's save that and go to our CSS and I'll give it a height just so we can demonstrate that parallax section a bit better down forward slash star star forward slash and let's give it wines wines list I guess okay and that section we called wines so it was an ID so it's going to be hashtag wines and let's give it a minimum height open and close some curly brackets just give it a height say 700 pixels we'll get rid of this in a, in a moment when we actually build this section and let's give it a background color where's that nice blue we have that's right there just copy that attribute right there plot that underneath now we should have a section underneath our parallax section that's 700 pixels and that color so that should allow us to demonstrate the parallax a little better just save that let's go back to the site and refresh now if I scroll down there should be a blue section underneath this there it is and that way you can see that picture in the background better see it's scrolling up there it's staying still as the foreground is moving the background is staying still and that's our sort of mock parallax section so there you have it that's how to create a parallax section with your bootstrap or a mock parallax section I should say but it's very effective it's eye-catching I see it used a lot and I use it a lot so I hope you found that helpful if you have please like the video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development, take one of our web development courses below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. And we've also got some great free courses down there, so have a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.